Oh, good, I ate this caravan. Open plan kitchen, that's what you promised me before we got married. Mm. And what do I end up with? Two rings in the corner of a table, if I'm lucky. I'm trying to finish this competition. Look, don't put that there, love. Ow! Where's the first aid stuff? In the cupboard there, where it usually is. Mm. It's not going to be in the tea caddy, is it? <laughs> well, where the hell is it in? Bloody washing. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, yes. I should have guessed. Quite obvious. Where was it? In the biscuit tin, marked rat poison. <laughs> Very methodical. Well, if you'd help me organise the place a bit instead of entering these stupid competitions, I don't know why you bother anyway. I mean, you never win anything. I won that one in Magic Minutes, didn't I? Oh, yes. Little Bertie Jones, age nine. <laughs> there's no tops and there's no labels. It's here in Caravan Life. All we have to do is to prove that we're the ideal newlyweds. What? Us? Prove we're the ideal couple, yeah. we'd have a job proving we were friends. We're always arguing. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Sometimes wonder why we got married. Yeah, let me remind you. I can't be I mean, look at the prize. It's a second honeymoon. We can go anywhere. Ibiza, Spain, Greece. We didn't have a first. What about that weekend in Yarmouth? That was five years before we got married. <laughs> yeah, but you enjoyed it, didn't you? Anyway, what's marriage got to do with honeymoons? Oh, that's typical of you, Bert. You're just not romantic. Yes, I am. I'm the most romantic person you've ever met. Says so here. <laughs> You're joking. Who wrote that? I did. <laughs> anyway, I've got to say what first attracted me to you. Well, don't tell me you've forgotten. No, it's just that I can't find a category for it. <laughs> you just put down what appealed to you most about me. I can't do that. You can get done for sending things like that to the post. <laughs> How has married life in a caravan affected your relationship? It's brought us closer together. <laughs> oh, that's true. Everything's to end. <laughs> anyway, we don't have to waste energy going upstairs. Now, there's only one more question. How do you share the household duties? She works her fingers to the bone while he wears his trousers out sitting on his backside. We each do <laughs> what we are best at. <laughs> right. That should make them happy. Good, I'm glad it'll make somebody happy. The trouble with you, Bert Jones, is you're living in a dream world. I sometimes wonder how I manage to keep sane. Oh, God, what the hell's this? <laughs> a sock. It's in the broccoli. Well, if you will use your mother's recipes. <laughs> this sock has nothing to do with my mother. Oh, this place is driving me mad. Look, everything gets in a mess. Here, look at that sock. Beautiful. Don't do a turn. Well, <laughs> it's about all it is. Look, the gas has gone out. I thought you were getting a new canister. Oh, I knew there was something. Something? It's everything, Bert. How can I cook without gas? Here, get stuck into that. <laughs> I can't eat that. It's raw. Nonsense, darling. It's done to a turn. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's it. That's it. I always said your cooking tasted like old socks. I never thought I'd have to eat the real thing. Well, you know what you can do if you don't like it. You don't worry, I'm going to. Well, all right then. And where do you think you're going? I'm going down to the post to post this competition. It's the last day for the entries. Well, don't be long, love. Your sock will get cold. <laughs> Trouble, mate. Oh, I said, Mrs. She's driving me barmy today. If you want to have a job like mine, me and Val have found the secret of staying together. It's keeping apart most of the time. Yeah, well, you're away driving your lorry, aren't you, most of the time? Well, you know what they say. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Some people will insist on holding their marital rows in public. Yeah. Oh, blimey, it's Noddy and Big Ears. <laughs> what you been doing, listening behind your door? Listening behind my door? We can hear you inside our caravan, can't we, Wally? You only have to open the window. <laughs> Sid! Sid! Oh, my Sid's forgot his sandwiches again. Never mind, my dear. I'll chase after him for you. You'll do nothing at a salt. Get back in that caravan and help me with the washing up. Sid! <coughs> I saw me thinks about his going off in his lorry. I can't think why with a chassis like that at home. <laughs> Jones. You know, no, Bert, Bert's are my many friends. Oh, you got a lot then? Yes, well, I'm a very friendly person, you know, once you get to know me. Yeah, me too. Here, I've got something you might fancy. <laughs> Not half. One of me old man's 
sandwiches. I suppose that'll do to be going on with. Oh, cheeky! <laughs> Oi! Cheeky! <laughs> I thought you were going down the post, not chat up every little flirt on the site. Yeah, Mrs Briggs is a very respectable man. You know what I mean, Bert. Have a sandwich. <laughs> Hello, you here again? Eight nights in a row by now. Yeah, well, things have been a bit dodgy, you know, since Betty saw me chatting up that vowel. Large scotch, please. Blimey, you must really be in a dog ass. Hey. Seen it all before, I have. Half a pint for a tiff, a pint for a flaming row, but a double scotch. Complete withdrawal of conjugals, mate. <laughs> you can have one. No, thank you, mate. I can't remember the last time I saw my good juice. <laughs> Eight days. I could do with a bit of excitement. <laughs> Cause they're all the same, love. I mean, look at mine. For the first six months, he couldn't keep his hands off me. Yeah, it's funny how people change, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, him being a boxer didn't help much. You see. Before a fight, he wasn't allowed to do anything. And afterwards, of course, afterwards, he wasn't capable. <laughs> See, it wasn't long before he started this in the bottle, not having had much luck with his opponents. <laughs> oh, who's that? God, no. Oh, uh, Mr Gibson, what can I do for you? I just came over with this telegram. Came this morning. This morning? Blimey, it's taken you long enough to deliver it. Look, I'm not here solely for your convenience. Get things delivered to your own place if you want them in time. I just hire out the land here, you know. I don't provide room service as well. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no, I can't believe it. Is it something tragic? No, no. Oh. Uh... He says someone's coming to interview us tomorrow. Oh, it's probably the police. <laughs> no! We've won! We've won a competition in a magazine! Oh, that's nice. How did your old man fiddle that? <laughs> oh, we can go anywhere, anywhere we like. Ibiza, Spain, Greece, anywhere. Oh, we're going to have a honeymoon in the sun. Oh, you can keep that. I wouldn't take my Wally there. The hot weather stimulates him. <laughs> Just wait till my Bert comes home and here's we're the ideal newlyweds. Ideal newlyweds? <laughs> Probably not even married. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Oh, nothing, love, nothing. You've got a nerve. You're jealous, that's what it is. Ideal newlyweds? He spends every night down the pub. He's only popped out for a quick one. You hope? He'll be home in a minute. Do you reckon so? Anyway, the only thing that keeps him there is your old man. You're a dreamer, darling. Oh, get up, <laughs> old man! <laughs> I think you're trying to get me drunk. No, I'm not. Oh, pity. <laughs> Here I am again. <laughs> yeah, you're well old, aren't you? I know when I've had enough. I can always tell. It falls over. <laughs> oh, it is nice having company, Bert. My sin's always going off and leaving me alone. Here, if I had a girl like you, I'd never leave her alone. Yeah, you don't want me around, do you? Well, no, 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 it's not that, Wally, but, uh, you know, I, I think I ought to see Val home. After all, she doesn't want to go down those dark lanes by herself. Oh, no. I might get attacked. You're all right. I think I'll come with you. <laughs> the lanes is very dark. You won't get attacked, Wally. <laughs> no, I know the quick way there. So do I. So stay here. Well, we're home. I told you I'd get you home safely. <laughs> Do you think you'll be all right? Oh, yeah, forget him. He sleeps there most nights. We can say goodnight properly now, Bert. Hang <laughs> 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 on, don't you think we're a bit close to home? Well, there are other places we can go. Yeah, I suppose so. Good <laughs> Oh, that's all. He's bound to have woken up from that. Yeah, uh, look, I'm sorry, love, but I down risk it now. Uh, 
Look, it's lovely to have met you. Had a nice time. Thanks very much. Uh, I'll see you soon, love. Good night. Yeah, all right, Bert. Good night. All right. Bert, I made it. <laughs> Glad somebody has. Oh, Bert, Bert. Oh, I'm sorry I said all those things and made you go out and get drunk. When all the time you were right. You what? We won. We won the competition. Marvellous. If he's there, here we come. Oh, yes, you can have a real honeymoon at last. Oh. 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 Here, just a minute. What's that perfume? It perfume? And lipstick. You're covered in lipstick. Yeah, ah, yeah, no, oh, no, no, no. don't forget any of your smart aleck excuses. You've been with another woman. You've been unfaithful. Oh, I was wrong about you. I was right all the time. <laughs> You're horrible and I hate you. Oh, come on, Bert. Don't, and you can't get round me by pinching my bottom. <laughs> That's what we write arms for. <laughs> you rage your barroom attitude. You're crude and disgusting. And you're not coming near me tonight. <laughs> but we're the ideal couple. It says so here. If we're the ideal couple, then God help the rest of them. I feel terrible. Good. I just, just remembered. We've won. We've won the competition. Well, you can just forget it again. It doesn't mean a thing. Oh, look, Betty, look, I haven't been unfaithful. I mean, I just couldn't. Who was it? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. I know who it was anyway. <laughs> who was it? Wait, wait, was it? <laughs> that Finch woman. I knew it. As soon as her old man goes away, she's out chasing everything in trousers. Oh, I have a good mind to go over there and tear a strip off her. That's if you didn't tear them all off last night. <laughs> but she just got a bit carried away. Oh, yes, and I can guess who did the carrying. What can you get from her that you can't get from me? Yeah, at the moment, I'm not getting anything from anybody. <laughs> and you're not going to either. I'm going back to Mother. She doesn't come home stinking drunk. Probably do. Good if she did. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, no, sorry, sorry. Oh, yes, you're always sorry afterwards, like last night. You want to think before you act. But I didn't act. Well, I don't want to hear about it. I'm leaving, quitting, flying the coop, getting out. Oh, don't be silly, Betty. I mean, we're married. I mean, look at all we've got. You can't throw all this away. I can't think of anything better to do with it. Yeah, I give up. Where are the liver salts? In the shoebox. <laughs> And that's mine. <laughs> Here, there's someone asking about us. It's a woman and a photographer. They'll be from Caravan Life. Why didn't you tell me they were coming today? They'd have brought the prize with them. Well, they can just take it back again. Oh, no, Bet, you're joking. The first time we've ever won anything. Hey, listen, there you are now. Look, look, play along with it, Bet. I mean, if the worst comes to the worst, I mean, we can always flog the holiday and then split the money 50 50. 60 40. <laughs> yeah, all right. Hello? Anybody home? Yeah, oh, we were expecting you to come in. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, sorry. This is my loving wife, Betty. Uh, she was just going out shopping. Oh. How do you do? Congratulations from Caravan Life. I'm Miss Roth, Penelope Roth. So this... Is your little love nest? Well, it's certainly little. <laughs> Very cosy, my dear. In fact, it's a little paradise compared to the squalor we've just encountered outside. Yes, well, you must excuse Mrs. Briggs Smalls. <laughs> the fact that you be happy in the middle of such squalor proves to me that you obviously have something special. She's got me. <laughs> oh, I see you've already packed. You're so eager to get away. You're damn right. <laughs> Oh, Betty was so excited when she heard the news she couldn't wait to be off. Isn't that right, dear? Yes, love. Well, all we want are a few photographs of the ideal couple going about their daily routine in their usual way. Oh, yes, the little wife at the stove. Hubby paralytic on the floor. 
<laughs> oh, what a sense of humour. What a girl. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without her. You'll soon find out. <laughs> uh, yes, but if you want some photographs, uh, we'd better change our clobber and get spruced up a bit. So would you excuse us? Oh, yes, of course. We can take a few shots of the mess outside. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, Listen, I thought you said you were going to play along with it. After all, you're getting 60%. 70%. You're a bloody robber! That's not a bloody Yeah, I would. It wasn't for the photographs. That'd look marvellous, wouldn't it, eh? All black eyes and toothless grins. All I'm asking is that you control yourself. Me? Control myself? Is my tie straight? Yeah! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Good. Now then, Roy. Where shall we have them? Oh, never mind. Over here, I think. <clears throat> yes. Now then, just stand together, would you? No, more together than that. That's right. That's lovely. All right, Leroy. <laughs> You're standing on my foot. I know. <laughs> Now then, Mr. Jones, what did you say you did for a living? Oh, well, I'm very versatile, really. You know, I can turn my hand to anything. Especially if it's in a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> what our readers are simply dying to know is why you chose a caravan in the first place. Chose? Yeah, well, there was, no, well, there was no choice, really. I mean, I didn't want my wife in suburbia, no, you know, so restricting. No. And secure. And boring. <laughs> quite, quite. But you've obviously taken a lot of pains to make your marriage exciting. Oh, yes, quite a lot of pains, really. <laughs> I nearly forgot. Mr. Jones, I must get you in bed. <laughs> Our editor thought, you see, that a photograph of the two of you together in bed might be rather charming and help sales. Well, I think... Yeah, so do I, Betty. I think it's an absolutely fantastic idea. Good. Well, I think we'd better get the clothes on, yes. so if you excuse us again... Like us to go. Yes, of course. Come along, Leroy. Bert Jones, I'm never getting into that bed with you again. But it's for caravan life. I don't care if it's for the Vatican News. Look, it's practically within our grasp. And you want to go and spoil everything. Well, I've told you I'm not getting into that bed. But look, it's not for real. All we have to do is put the tops on and lie there. Oh, all right. But I'm lying underneath the covers and you're lying on top. And I want at least three blankets between us and an eider down here. Are you sure you wouldn't like the Berlin Wall? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I wouldn't mind it at all. Oh! What's wrong now? Turn your back. <laughs> what are you talking about? I know the layout by heart. <laughs> oh, you're going to do it. Good. Right. I'll get into bed. And that's all you will get, Bert Jones. <laughs> oh, perfect. Perfect. And let's, let's hold it there for the presentation. Leroy? Nothing. <laughs> On behalf of Caravan Life, I congratulate you, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, on being our ideal newlyweds. <laughs> Take great pleasure in presenting you with the travel vouchers and the spending money for your ideal honeymoon. All smiles, now. <laughs> Let me down him. I'm murdering. Calm down, Sid. You'll burst something. I know you're in there. Come on out, you creepy little git. Who's that? No one, no one. Uh, you better just let me have the check for the photograph. Oh, come on, come out of that caravan. I'll sort you out, you roundy little sex maniac. <laughs> <laughs> Who does he mean? It were neither of us. Well, it certainly isn't me. <laughs> You've got ten seconds to come out, Jones, before your whole bloody caravan goes out there! You better come out, Bert. I think he means it. <laughs> Hello. This must be his latest bird. What's he doing? Starting a harem? I beg your pardon? Hello. He's got a photographer in there and all. Right kinky going on. <laughs> uh, Miss Ross, Miss Ross, says just a sort of little matter of the prize. He wants prizes for it now. <laughs> There'll be no sun-filled honeymoon yet, Mr. Jones. I suspect there are things going on here that we at Caravan Life could not 
possibly condone. You're right, they should have sent a reporter from Titbits. <laughs> Look, I'm sure we can get this sorted out. Of course we can. It'll only take one pint. Oh, 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 Look, when someone messes around with my wife behind my back, he can expect to be it. Yeah, look, a few drinks is hardly messing around. A few drinks? If he was anything to go by, they was all too drunk to know what they was doing. I'll tell you what we were doing. We were carrying him home. Yeah, that's right. It was only a bit of fun. What do you know about fun? Well, I had quite a bit of fun till I met you. <laughs> your father didn't come here to sort out your problems. He's the cause of all this. Oh, no, he's not. It's your fault. Going off and leaving your wife to tempt my Bert into corruption. Oh, blimey, don't want much tempting. <laughs> so what do you know about tempting? She tempted me. <laughs> Once. <laughs> Nobody tempted anyone. I only wish they had. <laughs> no, in, in a manner of speaking, I mean. Uh, I mean, after all, I've got a wife of my own. I, I don't want yours. Oh, not good enough for you, I suppose. Oh, no, no, I mean, you, you, you've got... Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I would... Uh, I, I, but, but I didn't, did I? I mean, nothing happened. Go on, tell them. Oh, yes, it's true. Nothing happened. Yes, that's right. It's a load of love over nothing. There you are. I told you, didn't I? Now, look, they've all said so. Now do you believe me? Well, I suppose so. I can't think why. You see, it was just a celebration, Sid. I mean, you know, we ideal husbands, we do that sort of thing. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't celebrate your ideal marriage with my wife! Oh, you're all aggressive, Sid. <laughs> Come on, let's go home before it's wasted. <laughs> oh, I'm the Miss Roth. Now that's all sorted out. There's a little matter of the presentation. I think not, Mr Jones. Sorted out or not, yours is obviously not the ideal marriage. I think this calls for another dip in the post bag. No, 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 hang on, Mr. Roth. Uh, uh, Penelope, I mean, you can't ruin our honeymoon just over a little misunderstanding, you know. I mean, when, when you're an ideal couple like we are, I mean, the neighbours, you know, they get a bit jealous. Oh, yes, it's all so silly. I mean, my Bert really is the ideal husband. She wouldn't know the ideal husband if she fell over him. That's the only contact you ever have with yours. Bells up, Madame Lazonga. No, no, just, just a minute. Uh, Miss, Miss Roth, uh, Penelope, um... I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. <laughs> Take your hands off me, you caravan Casanova. <laughs> Any chance you had of winning the competition went out of the window a long time ago. In fact, I cannot think how your entry came to be picked in the first place. Good afternoon. <laughs> well, that's that, Bert. Come on, love. Here, yeah, love. Well, I'm feeling aggressive. <laughs> Let's go inside before it's wasted. All right, love. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Ten pound of spuds in there to be back. <laughs> well, here we are, back at square one. What's your answer now? A brand new, purpose-built bungalow. Centrally heated, with an open playing kitchen, large garden, and a fantastic up-to-date nursery. What are you raving about? Yeah, that's it. That's what we're going to win. It's the ideal parents' competition. But it may have escaped your notice, love, but we haven't got any children. Yeah, we use your initiative. I mean, the competition doesn't start for ages. <laughs> we're halfway there. We're dressed for the part, aren't we? Ooh. 